Toyota's Breakthrough Solid State Battery Hello and welcome back to my channel LED Sin. In this video, we look at the recent groundbreaking developments relating to Toyota's solid state battery development. On November 17, the GAC Group, Toyota's affiliate in China, and the Chang'an Automobiles, two major players in China's automotive industry in terms of sales volume, revealed their respective plans for manufacturing solid state batteries. This announcement places them in the global competition to integrate this potential transformative technology into electric vehicles. Solid state batteries are considered a next generation energy storage device due to their superior performance and safety compared to current liquid state electrolyte lithium ion batteries. Several international car manufacturers including Toyota have expressed interest in solid state batteries with Toyota projecting widespread adoption by 2027. If you like the content of this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. This development reflects a growing trend among automakers to develop their own batteries which constitute at least 40% of overall vehicle costs. In order to establish a self-sufficient supply chain, Chang'an's president emphasized the goal of achieving sustainable high-quality development. GAC aims to have an EV in production with its in-house developed solid-state batteries as early as 2026. The batteries have already achieved a cell level energy density of 400 watts hour per kilogram and have demonstrated effectiveness under extreme conditions. For comparison, Cattle's latest Kellen battery has a maximum energy density of 255 watt hours per kilogram at the pack level. GSC is also working on other battery types, including cobalt free and sodium ion packs. Chang'an, China's fifth largest automaker, plans to commercialize its first solid-state battery by 2027 with a cell level energy density of up to 500 watt hours per kilogram. Large-scale vehicle application is scheduled for 2030 accompanied by the launch of various new battery products. As part of a 10 billion yuan investment plan, Chang'an will significantly increase its research and development workforce from 1200 to 3000 by next year. The company is also exploring other battery types such as lithium sulfur in the coming decade. In addition to these developments, Ford's manufacturing partner outlined its pipeline for mass producing lithium ion batteries starting as early as next year. The design integrates battery cells directly with the vehicle body, a technology that has enabled Cattle's Killen batteries to promise a driving range of over 1000 kilometers on a single charge. Major automakers worldwide are racing to commercialize solid state batteries for the green energy cars aiming to gain a competitive edge in the global EV market. Nissan, BMW and SAIC have also announced plans to incorporate solid state batteries into their production EVs by 2028 and 2030 respectively. Cattle, a significant player in the battery market, unveiled a condensed matter battery in April, a semi-solid state product with plans for mass production for aviation by year end. BYD, the world's second largest battery maker, a shipment has been involved in battery efforts for two decades and accounted for 15.8% of global EV battery sales in the first nine months of 2023, recording a net income of yuan of 10.4 billion in the past quarter. Solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of liquid electrolytes, offering theoretically higher thermal stability and energy density than existing options. However, challenges such as interface instability between electrodes and solid-state electrolytes persists along with other design issues. With the advent of solid-state batteries with extremely high wattage per kilogram, the race towards commercialization and automobile market share expansion of EVs will certainly take a giant leap. The big problem though that will continue to persist is that the principal source of energy for electricity required to charge EVs will continue to be fossil fuels at least in the short to midterm future. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.